Hey, what's going on folks? My name is Tom. Uh, I'm wearing a grey shirt uh, with a picture of Humber Bridge on it. No, sorry, Brooklyn Bridge. And I'm not feeling very Christmassy. There's a little update about myself. Don't know why I decided to say that. I'm in a little bit of a hyper mood. Not sure why. Thought it might be an ideal time to make a commentary as we are back at the Great American Ballpark. Uh, Chicago Cubs playing against the Cincinnati Reds. Tony Campana, my play mode. All that good stuff. And uh, after the last video, I noticed that a few of you guys kind of want to see me do some Madden stuff. Uh, just a warning for the moment, guys. I only do have Madden 12. Uh, if that's an issue for any of you, let me know uh, if you don't want to see me play Madden 12 because I know there is a massive difference between Madden 12 and Madden 13. Uh, I do prefer the look of Madden 13. I've only played it as, as a demo. So uh, whatever you guys want me to see, just, just let me know. Uh, I quite fancy doing it. I got told, uh, I forget the guy's name. Uh, to play as the Green Bay Packers for a franchise mode and then I kind of fancy doing a my play mode as well as a quarterback or a running back so whatever you guys fancy if you want me to do a running back or a quarterback my play mode for Madden uh, what team and then also franchise mode is also a big one <laughs> as, the, as the left fielder makes an amazing catch there I don't know how he actually managed to do that and we are coming off a win here the Chicago Cubs against the Cincinnati Reds which I didn't see coming but now we are one down already and it's only the top of the third with already one out. Uh, sorry, bottom of the third. And uh, I was kind of hoping that we could uh, sweep the Reds because at the moment it's 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, I think we're up 2-0 at the moment. Could be wrong. I'd have to go back and check on, you know, on the game and stuff. Uh, but we are winning this series at the moment, though there are the bases loaded here with only one out. So a sacrifice fly here is going to bring probably a runner home, which uh, is going to put us even further behind this game, which isn't great. That one going about 40 yards away from Tony, and obviously third base uh, runner tagging up. I'm going to make that three to nothing Reds. Also the second base, we're making it to third. So this isn't looking great for the uh, for the Cubs coming off a win as well. So you'd hope we'd, that, that we'd carry momentum on uh, to the next game. Bases are loaded again, and we are down four to nothing now. So this really isn't going our way this game at all already. That one's only going to be a few feet away from Tony. That one's going to easily be caught. That cheeky fly ball straight to Tony's glove ending that inning and ending the pressure that's on the Cubs maybe we can start a rally now maybe if Tony gets another home run after last game which was great to see I was really pleased that Tony did get a home run it doesn't happen very often he is a contact hitter for now but as I explained last commentary 2k designed it so that you end up just becoming a solid power hitter and smashing every ball as a home run the show I feel is a little more balanced when it comes to levelling up but also a little bit unfair that one going uh, wide for a ball there because on the show, what happens is your stats de de decrease the older you get and stuff. So you constantly have to mix up levelling up as a swing on that one that's quite wide again. Not a very good eye from Tony. And I feel that the show overall does a really good job with the road to the show. Uh, it's a little bit too hard in my opinion. And also 2K is a little bit too easy. Though that one is going to be popped up and caught by the first baseman there. Not bad at, at all for the Reds. Really shutting us down here in the fifth inning. And that's going to lead us on to the uh, sixth inning, bottom of the sixth, one out. There is a runner on there first. So this, once again, could be a lot of trouble. Any fly balls, the runner's probably going to tag up and make it to second if he's fast enough. I'm not too sure who is on first at the moment. Uh, but I know the Reds do have a lot of speed. That one's quite far away from Tony. And the failed diver is a real big issue. I sh probably shouldn't have dived with him there. And that is going to bring a runner to third. The runner from first base is going to make it all the way to home. Not going to be able to throw it to the catcher in time, and that makes it five to nothing Reds, leaving a triple open for the batter, which was really bad from the Cubs. Though there is a chance to redeem us here. There's a runner on first and second. Tony could make a big difference here. Maybe get the uh, another home run. Maybe you know three runs could bring us back in contention here. Soriano on first, and I can't tell who that is on second, so I kind of feel a little bit silly now. Uh, for trying to say who it is, that one's going down the middle. I'm going to make solid contact. I say I, I mean Tony, to the centre fielder. And whoever was on second is going to make it all the way to home, but not enough. And he's going to be caught out. He was going to try for home, should I have said. And that was a waste of Tony's efforts to make it to the to make it to centre field. He probably should have stuck on third and hoped for a grand slam from the next batter or something to bring a few of us home, because Tony does have the speed on the bases now. Could have been uh, more effective if he had just stayed at third and kept the inning alive. But no, it is now 7-3. to three. The Cubs have clawed back three runs somehow. This is the top of the ninth, though. Runner on second. Could make a big difference here from Tony. 
swinging on a two-seam fastball that's obviously too wide. I don't know why, but on the uh, on the show, my eye seems to be getting better, but on 2K, my eye's got worse. That one on the inside, though, is going to go right down the right field line. The runner on second, Soriano, is going to obviously go home, though. Amazingly, uh, Tony's not going to be able to make it to second base, and he's going to just have to deal with single. 7-4 to four now, Tony may have brought him back in contention. If Tony can steal all the way around the bases, uh, who knows? Maybe that could be a free run. Uh, Soto up at the plate now, I believe it is. Obviously, I'm going to be trying to steal all the way home now. Because that's what I do with Tony. I do the little juke move and that gets me all the way two seconds. Sliding in just. That was a lucky one really. Pushing it just like last uh, just like last video. Still making it into second here. So if I can make it five here with Tony. That's probably going to bring us back in contention. Trying to juke the third baseman. And it just about works. Obviously poor form from the third baseman. Uh, obviously not realising what Tony does. And Tony is going to juke. Now I'm just thinking I need to get home. But I'm wondering, do I let Soto bump me or do I try and steal home? This is a big question that needs to be asked, though they are going to walk Soto. That's a bit worrying, really, because I need Soto at the end of the day. Now there is two runners. There could be a risk of a double play if I uh, get the batter to bump whoever's up next. I do believe that is Marlon Bird. And if you don't know, I don't have 2K. I just put 2K, otherwise no one would watch. I have explained this in videos before, guys. I'm going to try and steal home. The catcher there, just getting it to the third baseman, and I am going to make it home. I make it 5-7. to seven. Tony really doing a big job for the team here. Just duking the catcher and third baseman to get a free run there. Stolen a second and third and home. So, fair play to us there. But we do end up losing the game 7-5. to five. Tony's efforts wasted. I love you all, guys. Thanks for listening to this commentary, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Thank you all. Love you all.